How's it going everyone? Troy here with Item and Detailing. Today we're going to go over a quick little van tour with my 2019 Ford Transit Connect. And more importantly, I'm going to talk to you about our brand new EcoFlow Delta Pro that we just got our hands on and how this makes us much more efficient in the field and how it makes it much easier for us to work with versus using a gas generator. We're also going to go over little chemicals, some towels and things that we always carry with us wherever we go just to get your jobs done the right way. All right, so I'm going to start off with showing you what we used to work with for the past three to four years. So these here are the EcoFlow Deltas and each one rated about a thousand watts. And I'll tell you for the past three, four years, we were working very well with these guys. So you can turn this on. It will give you a quick little battery percentage, how much is left, how much input and how much output there is going through this battery and how fast it would take to run down. So we've been running a <clears throat> Adams Polishes Pro Pressure Washer for three or four years and it worked phenomenally with that. Now, the most recent issue I came across is the new pressure washer from Adams Polishes actually has an automatic on and off system. Now, these generators or batteries don't have that much of a surge to protect them. So anytime it would go on and off, there's a high chance that these would trip. So what did I do next? I had to upgrade to our EcoFlow Delta Pro. Let's take a look at that. So for the first time ever, let's take a step in to the Island Man Detail van. And here you will see the behemoth of an EcoFlow that we have going on here. This thing weighs about 100 pounds and it is at 3.6 kilowatt hours. Today I completed three vehicles. We also have two 100 watt solar panels up on the top of the roof. So throughout time while we're working, those solar panels are connected directly to this EcoFlow generator and they are not meant to fully recharge this generator. What is meant to do or slow down the process of losing battery. So with 200 watts coming in and let's say eight or six, eight or 900 watts coming out from it from the pressure washer, it lowers that speed of running out of power. So we're always gonna have some sort of input to help slow down that process. Now, keep in mind, we did three vehicles today. We had about an hour to an hour and a half in between to take a break. And this is what our battery percentage is remaining on this EcoFlow. We're at 92%, 92%. And that is with vacuums running, using the pressure washer, using the air compressor. Sometimes we might have to use the extractor, which is our little Bissell. And with it recharging at 200 watts, 92%. We could do a whole RV and we'd be just fine. So this EcoFlow generator, with my experience so far within the past few days, I'm speechless with how great this thing works. So using a gas generator, we don't have to carry a fuel tank with us. We're not having that idle noise going on. We can actually detail at five, four o'clock in the morning and there would be no idle noise from a generator versus this, it's completely silent. So a lot of our tools are very quiet. The only couple of tools that we have that are noisy that you could probably hear outside would be our two ego blowers over here and maybe our polishers if we're running that, but we're not, we still need to prep the vehicle before we even polish. And we still need to wash the vehicle before we use the egos. So we either we're starting at five o'clock in the morning, we're deep cleaning the exterior of the vehicle, doing an engine bay, doing the wheels, doing the whole body. And by the time the sun's already peeking out, people are waking up and we're using the ego blowers. So everything is super quiet in this van setup and we're not waking anyone up early in the morning because we don't have a gas inverter that's at idle making noise blowing fumes all over the place not to i'm not saying that you detailers out there should get rid of your battery or your gas inverters and go to battery but this is a great alternative for anyone who's looking to use a battery inverter this will power almost everything that you need for us what i do i hook up my pressure washer i hook everything up just the pressure washer turn everything on and what i'll do run the pressure washer when we're done, unplug the pressure washer and we'll connect our extension cord to the generator. We can hook up our air compressor and we can run everything. Because the pressure washer has such a high draw, we can only use that one item. But that's okay because we're not, we're not doing the interior while we're doing the exterior. So we're focusing only on the exterior. The only thing we need would be 
pressure washer. So it works out great for us. Sometimes it will trip and we will have to reset it by pressing this, turning it off and turning it back on, but that's about it. And so my overall experience with this has been, I give it like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The only 0.1% downside is just that it trips once in a while, but not a big deal. I have to walk, you know, 10 feet just to come and reset it. Not a big deal. So this EcoFlow Pro generator or battery inverter, battery itself is amazing. I highly recommend it to any detailer out there, or even if you're camping, this is a great option to go with you. Um, we're gonna be hosting a couple, of, we're gonna be sponsors at a couple of events. We're gonna be displaying this EcoFlow Pro generator to a lot of spectators. This thing is amazing. Now taking a look at the rest of the van, you notice these two bags here. This bag here has a lot of our polishing pads that we carry with us, our pad conditioning brushes. This bag here, we carry polishes, compounds, heavy cut compounds. Now, we don't do paint corrections every day, but sometimes a customer will say, hey, can you buff out this little scratch that we have? So at least I'm always prepared or if I do have a paint correction job coming up, I don't need to go from my toolbox or my cabinets to go grab everything the night before and have to worry about if I have it or not. At least I know that I have it. And on a daily basis, I'm always checking to make sure I have what I need in case something happens. If I don't have it, I will need to make an order and go pick it up and so forth. Now to the left of the Adams Pro pressure washer is our California Air Tools air compressor. The most quiet air compressor I have ever heard in my life. This thing runs at about, I believe it's 58 or 60 decibels. Don't quote me on that, but it is extremely quiet. So what we do here, we plug in our, generate, our air compressor. It is turned on right now with the red switch underneath the yellow tag there. So all we do, we plug this in. And right now it, there's no, it's full with air right now. So I'm gonna bleed out the air and I'm gonna let you hear how quiet this air compressor is. So I just bled out some air of the air compressor. I'm gonna turn this on and let you folks hear how quiet this air compressor is. So let's take a step back. While that's running, you can still have conversations with everyone. And most of the time, we're about 20, maybe 10 feet away from the van, and we're able to have conversations with other people, our customers who come outside. And most of the time, there's a little vibration that comes. It's probably because it's leaning up against our ladder over there, or it's leaning up against the pressure washer. So it's, it's very light. It's about 40 or 50 pounds. It's super quiet and it gets the job done. It's a 90 PSI, I believe it's 5.6 CFM. We have it running to our retractable air compressor hose here. And normally what I do, you know, you turn off the air compressor here. So that runs to our retractable air hose here, which is about 50 feet. And we have our Tornador handy at all times. So that's ready to go at a split second. So that's our air compressor. To the left here, we have a 65 gallon water tank with, it is full of deionized water. I just recently refilled it. So it's full of deionized water. We have our wash bucket here. We've got a 65 foot braided pressure washer hose with our pressure washer gun here. Wheel bucket. This bucket is mainly for storage. So we have our wheel brushes, our easy brush, uh, fender wheel brushes, everything we store in there that can't fit in this bucket. Uh, that bucket is full of water. So it, both of these are full of water. This one is deionized. That one's our wheel bucket. So it's just hard water. To the left of that, we have our foam cannon, which is, which is mounted with a quick connect. So all we do, show up and we just pop that right off. To put it back on, put it right back on, good to go. Before, we used to mount it right up against the little board walls that I makeshift myself and it would fly, fling all over the place, water would get everywhere. So I ended up getting one of these guys. I can't remember where I got it from, but if you order it online, they do have them. We do have a whole stack of pressure washer tips here. These are, I have two of each because if one drops and one breaks, you know, at least we can hook up the next one. On three sections of this van, on this side, that side, and in the back of the van, I have business card holders for my business cards because at a, any time's notice, someone could show up, pull up in their car, hey, do you folks have a business card? Pop right here, pull one out, good to go. So that is a very handy tool to have. Next, we have our IK battery foam compressor. This one is full of wheel and tire cleaner. 
foams up, goes around to there. And this air compressor is a little noisy, but it does have a battery com uh, compressor, so we don't have to use the handle to just hand pump everything. We went from a squeeze bottle to the IK hand pump foam sprayers, and we upgraded to the battery powered one. So this one will give us much more ease of use. We don't have to tire out our arms pumping everything. And since we're using it on almost every vehicle, it's, it's well worth the money. And down here we have some Griot's Garage mo microfiber mop heads with telescoping poles so we can do trucks, RVs, and so forth. On this wall here, my makeshift, I believe these are yucca boards I got from Home Depot with just some carpeting so it makes it look a little bit nicer. I've got our foam, mega foam, uh, strip wash, got some other products back here for soaps and they're all over there so we work off of those soaps and at least they're easy to access when we're getting ready to run everything. Here on the top you'll see these black and red wires that run through the roof to the hole opening over there. This is our solar panel charging and it comes right down the pillar, the pillar here and it comes out and it actually runs straight to the back of this EcoFlow. So that's where we get our solar charging from. Up here we have these Braun uh, underhood lights that I got from Harbor Freight. These are mounted to these mounts here and actually at the end of the van there. So what I use this for, since the light in this van isn't very bright, at night, I'll turn on at least one or two of these, or if I'm having to do an interior detail in a parking garage or at night, I can easily just pop one of these off and take it with me, hook it up into the van or vehicle, turn it on and we have light on the interior. Now we're moving to the back of the van here. Um, the back side of this van, I will tell you right now, I it took me about three years to get this van to something that I was happy with. You notice with this van, I don't have a skid built out with a wall, diamond plating, reels everywhere, pressure washer hose reel, um, storage bin, like baskets, what metal baskets where they take it and they build it out for you. Don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love one of those. But this van was built out through a complete budget of mine that I had. I didn't have much going on when I started with this van. Um, I got the van, it was a complete empty shell. The only couple of things that I came with was the roof rack on the top there for the solar panels that I actually makeshifted, fabricated, and put bolts through myself. And the partition wall over there at the end. That's all this van came with. Everything else I put in myself. Just over time, I try to be a little handy and crafty and make sure I can build something to my liking. I think building out this van was the most fun. But with that being said, the back side of this van, I've got metal drawers left and right. Used to be plastic drawers from, you know, Target or Walmart. They did the job for about a year or so, and maybe two years. And I started searching and I found this metal uh, bin on Amazon. And then I found this big metal bin on Amazon, which it's really sturdy. I'm really happy with it. Starting from the top to bottom. At the top of the van here, I have this metal magnetic holder for gloves. So these are disposable gloves that we use on every job, making sure that we don't get too much chemicals on our hands or anything, keeping ourselves safe. Personal health is a huge priority. On the right side here, we have some products from Ammo, some Adams products here. And quick disclaimer, these are products that I work with that I believe after some time I'm very comfortable with. I know there's a lot of people out there that will say, you should use this product or, oh, that product is terrible. Again, my budget that I work with, sometimes I wanna test something out. For me, my experience was I'll purchase some products, test it on my own vehicle, do a little bit of practice and see how that works. If I like it, I'll use it. And then once I get super comfortable with it, I'll use it on a client's vehicle. And I trust myself, I'm confident in myself using those products and just like every other detailer out there, you can open up their van or their vehicle, their car, and they've got a whole, whole plethora of different products, different types of um, chemicals, different types of towels, different types of wash mitts, soaps, and so forth. Everyone's got their own niche. And mine, I happen to have a lot of Adams Polishes products. Now it's not filling the whole van with it, but a lot of it, I have a lot of those products, and I also have ammo. I've got a couple of Suds Factory, um, Geon, Car Pro, and so forth. 
But moving on from that shelf, to the left side here, we have our cones. Every job we go to, if we're parking on the street or even in the driveway, we put our cones out just to make sure that people see us. Last thing we want is myself or Quinn getting hit with a car or the van in general. We don't wanna have that issue. Now on this shelf here, this is kind of my move things around shelf. So it'll come out of the van, I'll put different things in just depending on the type of day. Uh, we recently applied the Adams Polishes Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating Advance on a vehicle. So I put that in here. This is one that is discontinued, their ceramic spray coating, but I carry that with me. This is an alkaline car pre-soak wash just to strip away any existing waxes, sealants, and so forth. I have some Suds Factory products at the top here just to test out, see how that goes on my vehicle. I just keep it in here because I do wash my vehicle through this van, so keeping it with me is very important so I don't have to run back and forth. On the top shelf here of this metal drawer system, we have two Eco Flow, or sorry, Ego 765 CFM blowers. So I have a five amp hour battery here and a seven and a half amp hour battery here. I got lucky, I think they mistakenly put a seven and a half amp battery in the box. It was a floor model that they were practicing with and they had the seven and a half amp. And this thing is amazing. So the Eco Flow is one for me, one for Quinn to use. So we'll be both going over on both sides of the vehicle. And these Ego blowers are incredibly amazing. They get the job done in no time. They've changed the game for me. I'm in love with them. So moving on, we've got our Ryobi battery charger here. One day I'll get Milwaukee. I'd, I'd love to get Milwaukee, but for now, again, budget. I've got the Ryobi here because I do have a Ryobi battery fan as well. We are located in Arizona. As most of you know, Arizona last year, we were consistently at 110 plus degrees, 115 days. Quinn and I were outside dying in the heat. So I have a Ryobi fan. I'm probably gonna pick up another one because per again, personal health, very important. If we can keep ourselves cool during the summer while we're detailing, I will do whatever it takes. I'll throw a neck cooler over us, um, canopy, um, even an umbrella. I'll hold an umbrella over myself while I'm pressure washing a car. I don't care. I wanna make sure that we're staying safe. I'll even get to the point where if it's super hot, we'll sit in the van, we'll turn it on and crank the AC on full blast for 10, 15 minutes just to cool ourselves off to make sure we don't cause any type of heat stroke. We wanna stay safe. And you know, this little battery here with this charger, this is the first step to keeping us cool with our battery fan. We can take it with us into the vehicle to keep ourselves cool when we're detailing the interior but this is also for our drill. I have a Ryobi drill that I use with drill brushes. So in this drawer here, I've got some drill brushes. I've got the Ryobi drill here and a ton of drill brushes for me to use for carpets and so forth, rubber floor mats. This drawer, I have some swabs, uh, some dental picks here, which are easy to get into in between a hard to reach nooks and crannies plastic razors to use for whatever may come around a sticker on a windshield or so. In here we've got other miscellaneous things, metal razors, applicators, carpet striping tools, and more. Appli foam applicators, tire shine hex grip applicator, leather conditioner applicator, and then here we just have a bunch of crud. So Lily brush, this Amazon metal brush, which sometimes is very useful. Uh, cockpit soft bristle brush. We've got a pumice stone scrub ninjas in here. So we try to make sure that we're prepared for any job that comes around. All right, moving over to the next drawer here. We got the three stacker here. In the top drawer here, we've got our premium polishing towels, ceramic towels. We've got an extra pack of scrub ninjas because cars do get dirty. We've got synthetic uh, clay mitts got our polishers in here. We used to carry a Husky toolbox with the polishers and it did take up a lot of space. So I finally tried to save space and get it to fit in here, take out some things and make it work. Always carry trash bags with you. Very important because, I mean, especially if you take uh, disposable water bottles with you, taking the trash and throwing them in the van. People do come out and take a look at the van. So the last thing you want is for someone to come out, check out the van and they see trash thrown all over in the van keep yourself clean trash bag is the way to go so moving on to the next drawer I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this but again we work with what we got we work with our budget and 
you figure out what works best for you as long as the technique that you're using works great and it's not causing any damage. So with that being said, this drawer is full of yellow microfiber towels from Costco. Costco recently made away with the tag on their yellow microfiber towels. So getting these towels without tags is a plus. So we have, we use these for a lot of the interior door jams, glass. We even use it, use it for glass. Um, touching up with ceramic sealant, pretty much a lot of things that we use it. Now, these do get dirty. When they get super saturated, I do toss them. And personally for me, I don't necessarily just toss them. We use them around the house. So we'll, the, I call them their retired yellow towels. We use them around the house to clean the table, clean glass and so forth. And then after they get really dirty, then we toss them. So we make use of them. We don't just throw them away. We use them in the home. Um, coming down to the last drawer here, we've got drying towels. Again, we have the egos. We use this majority of the time. But if there is really the need for it, at least we have it. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So we have big old drying towels here. We've got waffle weave glass clean towels also. These are just gray microfiber towels that I have a new pack of. These I use on wheels, exhaust tips, uh, the dirtiest parts of a vehicle. And, you know, they're, they're just towels. We, we use them. Um, on the right side here, moving these latches, which this, when I'm driving, I always hook these latches in because these drawers are easy sliding. At least with these, once those latches are in, they don't go anywhere. So I try to think of everything and these will prevent the drawers from banging open while we're, while I'm driving. So I have this ladder. This is the little giant King combo. This one can go from an A-frame to a straight vertical ladder. I believe it can reach up to 16 feet maybe 18 don't quote me on that maybe wrong and we use that a lot and we also have another gorilla ladder which is on the side of the van and i have two ladders in case quinn and i both need to use one so again another one of those situations better to have it and not need it and then need it and not have it moving over to the right side of the door here i have bottle holders with more products so you know VRP, leather conditioner, Gion wet coat, iron remover, so forth. So we have a whole stack of things here, stack of things on the other door here. These are all the products that we carry and come with us. So that's the back end of this van. Quick little rundown as to what we're using and how we store them. So little Ford Transit Connect, this is a very small van compared to like the Mercedes Sprinters the actual Ford Transit, maybe the Ram Pro Masters. This is about half the size, maybe less than that. So the challenge with me, and again, this was really fun, was trying to figure out how to fit everything in this van, keep it neat and clean, and also be efficient. So the, whenever we pull up to a customer's house, we have the back doors open, we have that left side door open, and we are able to knock everything out with efficiency. Having that extent, that retractable extension hose or extension cord and the retractable air hose makes a huge difference because already coiling up that 65 foot pressure washer hose is, it takes a while, it, it does. And I do hope to have one day um, a hose reel that I can put the pressure washer hose on but for now, it still works out. We're fine. We've got the uh, clamp on there to make sure that the hose doesn't just fall down and become huge knots of things and we're getting frustrated. At least we lay it down. And we do have on the pressure washer hose gun, it's a stainless steel rotating end. So we can walk out and every, all the coils will just come right out. So we'll just walk straight out and everything comes out. So this is the van. Let me show you what we have on the right side. Just a few things and we'll go back to talking about the EcoFlow Pro. All right, moving over to the next side of the van here. This is a three section van. So we got a door on that side, door on this side, and then the back door. Um, here in this bucket, we carry all of our wheel cleaning tools. So we've got easy brushes. We've got wheel woolies from Adams Polishes, extra ones because I mean, the handles on these brakes sometimes, so having extra, being prepared, always the best. 
We've got our California Air Tools here, air compressor. Again, super quiet. <clears throat> um, this brush here, this is the Adams Polishes truck brush. I use this for truck beds, inside of trailers, the roof of RVs, so again, being prepared in case we do, I don't have to take it in and out of the van. This is the third section here where we have more business cards. And this is the side of the van that most people don't see, but we have we usually have the other ladders stacked up on here and it slides right in. It creates a little bit of wall, so every time we have to take out this bucket, we have to slide the ladder over, unhook these bungees and take the buckets out. Uh, hose lights hang up on here off of a metal magnetic hook. Not sure if you can see that. Yep, magnetic hooks and those hang over there. It makes the job much easier. So that's the back side of the van here. So here I'm taking out our DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum. I used to have a rigid vacuum. It was a four gallon vacuum, very portable, small to carry around. It was easy to move around. But the problem I had with it and it doesn't make a difference to the quality of detailing that we have, but I kind of wanted to stick with the theme was it was too noisy for me. I, a long time ago when I started the vacuum, I sold my service to a customer that told me, wow, it is impressive that you have batteries to run your setup or your, gener your pressure washer is super quiet. But once I kicked on the vacuum, they came to me and said, I thought you said everything was quiet because he's on a meeting. Well, that got me looking around, and at the time, no one really made a silent vacuum. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a thing. At least one to detail, like a shop vac, or to carry around and detail a car with, until I found this, the DeWalt Stealth Sonic Vacuum. This thing runs at like 58 or 60 decibels. It is so quiet. Every time I turn it on, everyone is so impressed. I'm still impressed to this day on how quiet this thing is. Okay, so I'll turn it on here. And yes, it does make noise, but you can still have a conversation with someone. Quinn and I have conversations. I can still talk with my clients and it still works. So the DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum, yes, it's a nine gallon vacuum. That's the smallest version that they have of the Stealth Sonic. I'm sure they'll make something smaller in the future, but it was, it was almost a no brainer for me because when the customers are inside of their home, and I run the DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum, they don't hear anything. We're pretty much the only people that hear something unless they step outside. So this is a great investment to me. And it, you know, the suction power on this vacuum is more than enough that we need. It's got a huge storage capacity for debris. I've had this vacuum for almost a year. I still haven't exchanged, I still haven't changed out the bag that's in there, but it's coming close to that time. And I've made enough room with this EcoFlow Delta Pro that the vacuum still fits. Fortunately, I'm really glad that it does. Now it is much taller than the EcoFlow Delta, but I just put the vacuum right on top of the Delta Pro and fits perfectly fine. So I'm satisfied with that. So here we have our Ryobi Whisper Series hybrid battery fan. Um, amazing investment for the summer. This fan has saved us so many times. I mean, it's been dropped, it's been beaten up and so forth, but it has the four amp battery in the back. So it has a long run time. I can, I, I ran this one battery all day, maybe half a day, and I'll just switch over to the next battery. And the fun part about this battery is that it lets you know how much charge there's left. This one's got two bars left, so I'll just hop in on our charger and we're good to go. But super powerful I'll use it I'll actually use this fan to dry seats when I'm done extracting them it has that power so if I set it for three it's got a lot of power it's it's nice to have around so this has saved us many times during the summer from the heat and I'm looking to get another one very very soon because summer is right around the corner now I just wanted to give you a quick little size comparison of the EcoFlow Delta Pro versus the EcoFlow Delta. There's quite a big difference. I'm able to carry this with one hand with these handles. This thing's got handles, but you practically need two people to carry it. But moving over to here, let's turn off this outlet here. And so what EcoFlow did, they integrated this little handle here. 
So this handle will come out and you can actually wheel it around like almost like a rolling cooler and transport it anywhere you need. So this EcoFlow, it has a lot of different options. You can actually recharge it with an EV car charger and it'll charge from, I believe zero to a hundred in, I think it was like 40 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that, something ridiculous. It was, it's quick, but I have, this EcoFlow Delta Pro, there is an app and I can actually hook it up to the normal plug, which let's see here, down here. So this is the pressure washer plug, air compressor plug. This one, I didn't go over this. So this I'll plug right in, into here. And this yellow cord actually runs to the back of our Egos. So I don't know if you can hear that, but everything just kicked on and it's recharging our ego blowers batteries um, it will also recharge these brahm head the hood lights these are rechargeable we also have the ryobi battery in the back over there that is charging as well um, the ik foam sprayer this has a battery that can be charged as well right now it's full but i do have a charger ready in the back over there you hook it right up into the back here and everything runs off of just one power strip over there so that's what that yellow plug is that I just plugged in. Um, I'm gonna actually leave this plugged in while, so I can get that charged. But anyway, this EcoFlow Delta Pro does have an app that you can customize the input speed, the input watts that's going into the generator to charge it. You can charge it at, a, I believe it's 1800 watts. I have mine set to 800 watts because it is hooked, I, whenever I do come home, I hook it into a normal outlet in the garage and it can only handle so much because I do have other things in here like lights, I have a fridge, TV, and so forth. So I have this set to 800 watts and at 800 watts, this generator will recharge in about two to three hours from zero percent. Um, what I'll do is I'll come home, hook it up, this is the charger I have a roof or ceiling mounted extension cord there from Anno's Poshes and I'll just pull it down when I get home plug it right in and this will start charging so it'll charge at 800 watts now right now the output going to that eco or sorry ego battery is at 230 watts if this is set at you know 800 watts to be taken in it'll automatically offset and it will take, it will give you an additional 213, 230 watts, wherever it may be, because the output is at 200 plus watts or 300 plus watts. So right now it's going down because the battery for the Ego is almost fully charged actually, but it's almost fully charged. So most batteries, once they're getting towards the end, they start to slow down their output. So you can actually view this on your phone. So it's connected via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I can make a lot of adjustments. There's, I can turn on and off this outlet if I wanted to from, remotely from my phone, not a problem. So this side, you've got your 30 amp outlet here. I'm never, I'm never gonna use this, but this EcoFlow can actually run washers and dryers and refrigerators. Um, won't run AC units, maybe a portable AC unit, but EcoFlow does create, they, they did create a battery powered AC unit, which, I kind of want to try to see what it's like. May not be worth my time, but in this industry that I, that we're in for automotive mobile detailing, sometimes you gotta try things to see how it works, and maybe it might work for you. In this case, you know, I didn't really want to do this because I had another Adams pressure washer that worked just fine with these small ones. But because I had to get a new one, the other one gave out, and the switch on here is different that on and off switch, there's no continuous run. It's only on, automatic on and off. Every time you pull the trigger, it will turn on and you let go, it'll turn off. The surge on here just wasn't enough, so I had to make the choice to get this. Um, I was tripping the surge on here too many times. I was going back and forth. It really never made much sense for me to keep doing that. So after some time, I made the choice to go with this EcoFlow Delta Pro. Again, highly, highly satisfied with this. I kind of want to get a second one if I do get another van I might just do that so 
again, this is the interior of the van setup for Island Man Detailing. This is what we show up to a lot of customers' homes with. Now we do have cabinets in the back of our garage here that I do store extra products, but like ceramic coatings and refills, so forth. I don't need to go over all of that. The general five gallons or gallon jugs that we refill with, but in, in general, this is the van that we show up to your home in to get your job done. We always wanna make sure that we're prepared for anything that shows up. Um, and if you have any questions, I'd love to hear what you've got to ask. I'd love to hear your opinions on our van. Now, again, chemicals, I know there's a huge, a, a lot of people will argue with others saying, you need to use this, you need to use this, you gotta stop using this. Again, my budget, what works for me, I've used them for a year, many, many years, and I'm satisfied with it. Ask us about our EcoFlow Delta, let us know what you think. Was this the right move to make? We don't know because we've only had this for about not even a week now. So we're going to be testing it. We're going to try to put it to its limits and see what happens. Um, and, you know, just RVs in general, that's what I really want to know. Will this, con will this one unit be able to take on an RV without having it hooked up to the solar? Or will it be an issue? So we're going to do some tests here. All right, everyone. Well, that was our quick little general tour of the van from Iron Man Detailing. Again, my name is Troy with Iron Man Detailing. I'm the owner and operator. Feel free to give us a call, 808-895-6283. You may also text us. Reach out to us on Instagram at Iron Man Detailing, or feel free to check out our website at ironmandetailing.com. And tell me what you think about the van. Tell me what you think about the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Was this the right move for us to make? I believe so, but I wanna know what you think. Was this a great investment? So, quick disclosure, I did get this refurbished. It was not sent from EcoFlow as a promotional product, so I'm not paid to say this, but I used this out of our own budget to purchase because we didn't need it. Let me know what you think. Did we make the right choice with this? So far, it's been a great experience. It's super efficient. We don't have to change around batteries. And compared to this little guy here, this EcoFlow Delta, it served us well for three, four years. So I believe our goal was to become one of the first battery powered detailers, nonetheless solar powered. This EcoFlow Delta has served us for three to four years and it's been a great investment. I carry one, I still carry one in the van just in case if we're doing big jobs to recharge our batteries, to recharge lights, or even plugging our lights for when we're doing paint corrections. Going battery to me was a great choice, but if you folks have other opinions about it, other questions about if you know, if this is the right move for you, maybe you might be a mobile detailer and you want to know, maybe I should get an EcoFlow Delta versus a battery or a gas inverter. EcoFlow Delta Pro, check it out online. It's a great investment, great battery. There's really no cons to it. Like I said, I rate it 9.9 .9 out of 10. So this is a great battery. Feel free to let us know what you think about our whole van setup. So again, Troy with Iron Man Detailing. Have any questions, feel free to reach out. Message us on Instagram, Iron Man Detailing. Feel free to call or text us at 808-895-6283. And we'll see you soon. Mahalo.